today I'm going to show you how to sublimate on cotton fabric. Typically, sublimation only works on polyester fabric or a fabric that has a really high polyester count. If you want to put a full color sublimation design on cotton, you need to do a little something to the material first. That's what I'm going to show you today. I've got a really easy technique for you. Let's dive in. I grabbed these designs from Creative Fabrica. It's called the Vintage Beach Summer Sublimation Design Bundle. You can find a link to it down in the description. If you have the Creative Fabrica annual subscription, this is included. It's completely free and does come with a commercial license. The easiest way to print a sublimation design is in Google Docs. So I just opened up a new Google Doc and I'm gonna drag in one of those designs. Now I wanna manipulate this to get it to be the right size. So I wanna make sure that I lock my aspect ratio so that when I'm scaling this up or down, it stay, the height and the width stay at the same size. But we're gonna keep it where it was because I want it to fill up the whole front of the shirt. There's really nothing else I need to do here. Now I can go ahead and print this on my Epson EcoTank printer that I've converted to a sublimation printer. If you have not done that yet, or you wanna learn how, take a look at the video up above. So I'm just gonna make sure I have the Epson printer selected, and then I'm going to print using the system dialog box, and then one more time I'm gonna hit more settings. This brings me to my Epson settings. So I wanna make sure I have eight and a half by 11 paper, cause that's what I'm going to print on. Portrait is selected and I'm using matte sublimation paper, so I wanna select the matte, high quality in color. The rest of these can stay as they are. And then up in more options, I wanna make sure that I'm mirroring this image. And now we can go ahead and print. The sublimation paper, printer, and ink are the same, whether we're putting it on polyester or this cotton trick I'm gonna show you. So I'm just putting some sublimation paper into my EcoTank printer that I have converted, and I'm gonna let this print. A reminder that your image is going to come out a little dull and it's going to be mirrored. It is supposed to be like that. So this is the design we just printed out and it is going to be sublimated. But we're going to use a special material to get it onto that cotton shirt. And we are using sublimation HTV. This is from HTV Run, and it just looks like a roll of HTV. It is clear, so it has the carrier sheet here and kind of the matte clear HTV on the back. So I wanna generally gauge about how much I need and just cut off a piece of this. Sublimation ink does not adhere nicely to cotton. So you need a substance in between and this HTV is gonna absorb that ink. So I have a couple different cutting tools here because I really wanna get the cutting correct. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut out this design and I'm just gonna draw a circle around it. I don't need to cut out these white parts in between here. Now I'm gonna take my HTV and the matte side, I'm going to place down the glossy side up and I'm going to place this image upside down on that. And then I am going to cut out the HTV. Now you could definitely use the scissors for this, but I find I get a little bit more precision with a craft knife. I'm also gonna cut the HTV just a little bit larger than this design, it makes it lining up later, it makes it a little bit easier. So now I've got my piece of HTV and my sublimation de design, and now let's grab that shirt and go over to the heat press. I'm using just a basic 100% cotton white t-shirt here. There's a couple ways to find the center of the shirt. The first way is to fold it in half backwards. 
And then we're going to place it on the heat press and just press a light seam down the middle so I have a center line. Your heat press does not have to be fully heated for this. We're just trying to get a crease. Now I've got a line down the center and I can use my t-shirt ruler to line up the design. This is the clear HTV that we cut, glossy side up, matte side down. Anytime you're working with HTV or sublimation, you really wanna make sure that you have lint-free bases. Now this is gonna curl up just a little bit, so I'm gonna use a little bit of heat-proof tape to hold this in place. This is cold peel, so we're gonna let it cool off before we pull that carrier sheet off. Now we take our sublimation design and we line it up. Because this is clear, it's a little bit harder to see. We're gonna do our best to just make sure the whole design gets on the HTV. Because if it sticks to the cotton alone, it's not gonna stay. A little bit of tape to keep it in place. And then I like to use a Teflon sheet over the top. We're gonna press it again at 395 for 50 seconds. We have a beautiful, vibrant design on cotton. That is the easiest way to sublimate on cotton. Links to the designs and materials that I used are down in the description. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm here every week with simple projects and craft tutorials to help you move forward in your creative journey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.